So now we're going to solve this quadratic uh, with quadratic formula, but this one's a little bit more difficult than the last one that we did. But again, we're just going to follow the same steps. So step one, guys, was to... <coughs> Before that, you yeah, we're going to identify what A, B, and C are. So I like to list them over on the side, A, B, and C. What is A in this case? Two. Two. What's B? Negative eight. Negative eight. And C is? Positive five. Positive five. Okay? And now we just plug them into the formula and evaluate correctly. So we've got X equals, I want negative B. So what does that make it now? Positive eight. Positive eight plus and minus the square root. Now, I want b squared. 64. Yeah, is everyone okay that it's going to be a positive 64? Yeah. I want to take whatever b is and square. In this case, b is negative 8. So negative 8 times negative 8 really is a positive 64. Minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 5. There it is. And the whole thing is over 2 times a, which would be? What would be 2 times a here? 4. Good. Okay. Now, I highly recommend you put this box over these numbers. So it's negative 4 and then the two numbers after it. All right. And now we go ahead. 8 plus and minus the square root of 64. And now you're just going to multiply all those numbers in that box together. Wait, can't you just solve for the square root No, because you have to, good question. So you want to just make that 8? Is that what you're saying, Riley? Yeah. The problem is it's order of operations. You have to combine everything that's under that square root first. Okay. Then you take the square root. So what is this when I multiply these numbers? 40. Negative 40. So I put a minus 40 right there, and the whole thing is over 4. Okay, so now let's just keep going. I've got 8 plus and minus the square root of 24 over 4. And now let's assume that this time we wanted to go into decimals. So we're just going to go ahead and take out our calculator and find out what the square root of 24 is. What was that? It is. I've got, if we round to the nearest tenth, we've got 4.9. So let's assume we wanted to go to decimals. We'd have 8 plus and minus 4.9 over 4. And now you're just going to do this math out. Let's do 8 plus 4.9. Which is 4.9. And then divide it by 4. Let's go um, 3.2, and then we'll do 8 minus 4.9 and divide it by 4. I've got 0.8 if we're running to the nearest tenth. And that's it. So the only time it gets more difficult is just dealing with the A, B, and C. Okay? So, um... Let me give you guys another example to try. I'm just going to make this one up. So is everyone all right with this? Okay, let's try this one. Let's do negative mm, 9x squared plus 12x. Um, let's do plus 7 equals zero. By the way, can anyone tell me why I'm putting a zero in instead of a, the y? Because I'm doing what? Yeah, I remember when you are solving quadratics, what is it you're really finding? The x-intercepts. And at the x-intercepts, y is zero. So we're going to replace y with a zero. Okay, so let me give you guys a minute to go ahead and try this one. I don't know if I can pause the video. Um, but I wanna, I wanna, I wanna.